actually, everybody. He's bought me. What do you got, mate? Got two mallards. Sit down, face. Fresh, freshly shot this morning. Awesome, bro. So, plucked and gutted. Is, is, have... is it a bit green here, is it? Yeah, one of them was. We need this one, maybe. Still warm. Yeah. Kicking. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they're almost kicking. So. Yeah, that, that's my favourite tucker, don't you, Doug? Yeah. Well, good bastard. I'd shake your hand, but it's got two ducks in it, so I can't. <laughs> what do you reckon, folks? No, so I'm going to show you a really good way to cook this. Hey, thanks for what, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, nice. No, because uh, I haven't uh, got anything this season. I went out once and shot nine. Oh, yeah. Well, I have yeah. been looking at the ones on my landlord's uh, pond and salivating, but I've uh, got a couple of nice. mates. Yeah, Bruno is for anyone on here, eh? Just when yeah. I'm not, you don't want to come up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's bloody good. Yeah. So how many ducks did you get this morning? Well. So you're going around doing the rounds, delivering all your ducks to all your yeah. mates? Good on you. Yep, have two of them out, Uncle and Auntie, and to you and then just breasted the rest out. So good man. Going to sausages. Fucking good. Well, that's awesome. Out yeah. there, Bruno. Yeah. So, well, that's bloody good. I think we're going out, going out again this evening. So. Oh, you're going for another shoot? Yeah. Last minute decision. Jeez, I'd love to go with you, but I'm busy with my yeah. from my daughter. Yeah. Wait, to come, what, come... what are you doing next weekend? Because yeah. it's closing weekend next weekend. Is it? Yeah, we should go out for a shoot one last one, eh? Yeah. Daniel, well, yeah. Daniel, mate, I go hunting with. Yep. Told me to ask if you wanted to. Yeah, come. no, thanks, Daniel. No, I'll do that. Yep. Yep. Well, Bloody I oath. think we're going out Saturday morning. Sweet, that sounds like me. So I'll, I'll make it I'll, happen. I'll keep in touch with you. And... Bloody good. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm going to carry on here, bud. But good to see you. Yep, Thank you mate. for that. Sweet ass. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah, Stay in touch, yeah? Yep. Happy days. Oh, I'm stoked. Yeah. Wicked. Awesome. Right, see, see you later. later. I'll keep in touch. Thanks, mate. You can just back out there, yep. Yep. Watch out for Data's Mazda. Yep. Okay. <laughs> see you, mate. See ya. Isn't that awesome, eh? Good bastards dropping off a bit of tucker to me. Oh, I love duck, it's just my favourite. So uh, I'm going to show you guys a really awesome way how to cook wild duck. Mm. I'm just salivating thinking about it right now. Woohoo! Stoked. Fucking stoked. Didn't even have to get up in the morning and get wet to get it. Delivered. That's what happens when you uh, when you help someone out. Like I took him hunting the other day, pig hunting, and he said, oh, I want to do something in return. I didn't expect anything in return, but uh, I got something in return. Pace, get outside, you little wanker. He's worked out how to open the door. Outside. <laughs> While we're heating that, we're going to grind this right up. This is pink Himalayan salt. Good. Check this out. Hand carved by Ezra Hansen. One of my good bastard patrons and also a fellow YouTuber who's very good with knives. Thanks, Ezra. And I think one of uh, Ezra's spoons of salt is probably going to be enough for this. Oh no, we'll put another one in hell. There's our two ducks that have been hanging for 24 hours. That's what I like to do is hang duck. Into the hot water. Now I've got a jug of hot water. And this jug's boiled and it's going over the top of the duck. You can see the skin all going tight. There's a couple of things that relaxes it a bit and also tightens the skin up. So we're gonna cook these ducks for 10 minutes only in hot water. That's gonna lessen the game flavor. It's also gonna help that skin crackle up more when I finish the process. Good 10 minutes in salty water. Boiling, that's gonna reduce the gamey flavor. And it's also gonna help get any feathers off that we're still on. Let's give it a drain. And there. Yeah, I don't know, sweet as. Let's cuddle up the heavy sweet ass mate. Reintroduced the meat hook and I've picked a few feathers out, not that they really worry me, and I'm just hanging them up here to dry off. These feathers and stuff don't really worry me, you can pick them off if you've got some fussy guests come for dinner, but geez, we're eating wild game. So compared to like a, um, a chicken or a turkey, this is a game animal. So it's the muscle one, it's much more moving muscle, so it makes them tougher. And based on that, it's all about temperature, cooking them in the right temp. You interested in the process, are you mate? Could be you one day if you're lucky. You probably see in the Chinese shops often you see birds hanging outside. What they're doing is they're drying the duck off. Yep. So before we add the glaze to the outside, I want this to be nice and dry. So I'm going to make up my mix now of honey, soy and a few other bits. And those guys can do their thing just in the window. They're cooling off and drying. Four cloves of garlic. Oh, smells good. You guys know what I love with garlic. I love ginger with garlic. It goes so well. 
We get a real paste going on there now, and it's good. About half a teaspoon of cracked chili. Not a lot, just to give it a bit of zing, a bit of bite. Now things things are gonna get a bit wet. We're gonna put some soy sauce in there. I would say if you're measuring that would be about say quarter of a cup for two ducks. Just roughly. It smells good. Here's the game changer, honey. And there goes that spoon again. And mix that in nice. I've tasted it and it needs more honey. So I'm adding more honey to it. What it's lacking is a bit of bit of heat, so I'm gonna put a few peppercorns, grind them in there. You can see on the surface there, there's me peppercorns and stir that in. I am going to put the little skillet on and I'm gonna put the glaze in there and reduce it down. I've just taken this off the heat because you don't want to overheat it, otherwise you'll burn your honey. We have the big black sticky mess. I'm going to put it back on again and reduce it down a bit more. My ducks are nice and dry, or drying at least. They're looking pretty good. Yeah, it's starting to lose that shiny coat. You can see this is broken down. It's nice. I've turned the element off. That's good to go on the duck now. I've put a pot here, a pot to capture all the drips by putting hot water. This is uh, what's helped get rid of this gamey flavour, and that's it there. Give it a bit of a paint job. Considering there's a lot of oil and fat on the duck, that has stuck to it very well. Normally it doesn't. It's uh, pretty good. So we're going to hang that guy with his mate beside him there. And we're going to come back about an hour and we're going to put some more on. We're going to keep on adding to that. Uh, you can't really see very well in the silhouette there, but it's covered pretty good. An hour later, and I've just given these lovelies a couple more doses of the old honey soy mix. And Bruno's hanging around thinking he's going to get some, but you're not, boy. No. No, you can smell, eh, mate? Yeah. These ducks have been hanging now for all, all day, really. It's uh, three in the afternoon. We're going to stick them in the camp oven. When you're cooking duck, temperature is really important. So I'm going to put that in my camp oven so I can keep an eye on the temperature. They're still checking it out, eh, Pace? Right, I want to heat this to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I know from past experience it won't be there yet. In the meantime, I'm going to spike both of these guys in the thigh meat just to let the fat come out when I'm roasting them. So Pace is outside there thinking he's going to get some of this. It ain't going to happen. Uh, you can just use a fork if you haven't got one of these spikes. A few holes just to let all the fat come out. Peppercorns. Just going to add some heat. On top of that, some nice pink Himalayan salt. I love this stuff. It's just so good. How about that for a nice salt and pepper mix? Mmm. Right over, let's get stuffing. A little bit just over the breast meat. And plenty inside, it's uh, whole. You put your fingers around and just move that around there so she's nice and seasoned. That will go through it. Some of this fella over here too, or fellies. These have been drying for quite a while, these, so they're coming up really good. Just so you want it. And inside the hole again. And I think by now my camp oven will be at right temperature. Now, I'm going to put this temperature gauge in the breast meat because it's really important that we keep an eye on the actual inside temp. So we're going to give this about an hour and a half, and we want to go to 155 Fahrenheit, which isn't very hot, but that'll be part of the process. So smack it in the camp oven now. This here is an old fruit basket. I bought it at the warehouse for, I think, five bucks. It's cheap. And I just chopped it so it would go in the bottom of the camp oven, because we want to have our duck sitting on something. We don't want it sitting on the flat bottom. Otherwise, you won't get the heat underneath it, and it'll just burn on the bottom. Now, we're looking for 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And we can't be too far away from there now. We're probably about 300, I'm guessing. Let's have a quick look. Yep, we we'll bang on 300. We'll give it another couple of minutes and temp will be enough to whack those in. Right, we can't be too far away from the right temp. And that looks bang on to me. It's about 325, 330. Right, I'm going to take you out, mate, for now. And pop this in. And get our ducks. 
So we've got a gauge to keep an eye on the inside temperature of the actual camp oven and also one to check the inside of the bird. I'll periodically check that. I kind of know because I've done a few, but uh, I like to avoid taking the lid off as much as I can. Just let it heat and do its thing. But overall, it'll be in there for about an hour and a half. And then we'll take it out and I'll show you what we'll do next after that. So an hour and a half later. And what's our temp doing? Can you guys see that? Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, it's about 160. That's showing so this has been cooking nice and slow and we're going to take it out now and stand it for about 10 minutes whenever you're cooking with either sugar or anything sweet in this case there was honey in the soy sauce you're going to get that i call it collateral damage we're going to remove that from the bottom i've wrapped some tin foil around my duck i don't actually have tin foil as such as one of those trays and i've got all the all the black stuff out and i've got my temp gauge in there i want to crank that to 400 so if you're using a normal oven, it'll be 400. Going to get the heat right up. And we're going to whack this back in for 10 minutes. Check this out. Sweet mini capsicums. Freshly chopped celery. Mmm. One to broccoli. Cut up. Right, let's check out our heat here. Bang on 400. Perfect. Pop that in. Smack those on. Tin foil all on top. For 10 minutes in there, that'll be really hot. It'll help crunch the skin up a little bit. I'm just heating this cast iron plate to keep the meat warm. While my duck's cooking in there, I made a quick salad. Some tomato and spinach. And you guessed it, freshly squeezed lemon. Some cucumber there. And of course my all-time favourite, lots of olive oil. Righty yeah, that's done, I would say. Oh, smells great. Oh my lord. Now, that there... Could have been done a bit less, less heat. That's the trouble with the camp oven, but it smells good. Oh, it does. It smells really good. When you're cutting up your duck meat, cut it so you're cutting down onto the skin. Make nice thin slices and then serve it that way. Just absolutely beautiful. Really is. Gonna put it in here. Doesn't look like it's dried out at all to me. It looks pretty damn good. That's good to serve. How does that look? Does that not look good? Hell yeah. This is Dana's house truck, and Dana is going to be amazed. Duck. So what you got on the plate? You've got some baby capsicums, some broccoli. I've made a salad for you, and a nice glass of wine. Oh, so good. <laughs> so much better than what I've been doing right now. Well, it's all there, sweetheart. Oh, I have to be honest. I had a wee taste of duck, and it's absolutely delicious. Are you meant to drink wine with duck? Yeah, it's a red meat. I don't really care if you are not. It tastes good. Do you like to taste that wine? I don't drink much wine, but... That's the first glass of wine I've ever given you. Really? Yeah, but it's not the first glass you've ever had, is it? No way. <laughs> well, you're nearly 18, sweetheart, and you're with me, and it's just a small glass, but I thought it would really compliment the duck. Mm. Ah. I'm really keen to know what you think of that duck. You need to try that before you try the salad. It shouldn't be too tough, although it won't be like the Peking duck I've done you because it's wild duck, you know? Yes. You don't need to cut it, you just put a whole piece in there. I know. That looks really tender. It's so good. Oh, that's great. Well, it's food fit for a king, but in this case, I'm giving it to a princess. That was such a good surprise. I was going to cook some potatoes for dinner. Oh, I see that. Sitting here, applying for scholarships and... Mm hmm. Doing all your work, I see that. Eating yep. potatoes. But no, look what I got. You're going to get food like this every, every night? You come here, eh? This is the sort of food I have regularly. This is what you've been missing out at while you've been living with your vegetarian mother. <sighs> My mum makes me meat. Oh, she does. Good on her. Yeah. And I bet she does a great job too. I did actually overcook it a fraction. Mm. Oh, I didn't mean to. I'm using the camp oven, so I had my temper a little too high. So, for people watching it, you want to go a little bit less. You want to have your meat cooking for about 155. And I noticed when I checked it halfway through, it had crept up to 170. And that's why. Geez, you made short work of that, honey. This is the first thing I've eaten today. I don't know what time it is. It must be 7 o'clock, is it? Um, Close to 7 o'clock. Quarter to 7. Wow. This duck doesn't taste as dry as your one. I wonder if it's 
There's two ducks, one was a bit small than the other one. The bigger one, obviously, didn't um, dry out as much. Mm. Mm. Oh, it goes with wine. Mm. Mm. Hey, thank you, Mitchell, for dropping these off. Really appreciate it, mate. Absolutely delicious. Give this recipe a try. You'll love it. If you do it in an oven, it'll work a lot better. Camp oven, you don't have the drying effect. You don't get the crackly skin. See, in an oven with a fan, it, it crackles up better than this. Still all right, but it still tastes fine to me. Darling, <laughs> no, don't take my food. Do you want oh, do you want one? Okay, yeah. Next I want mine, remember? There we go. There's your whole drumstick. Thank you. You're Meat off the bone always tastes better. It's chewy, eh? Not that chewy, though. It's good chomping and chewing. A lot of ginger mm. and garlic. This is a wee tiny drumstick. Well, this particular one, this is nicer. Not a drumstick, yeah. Like, I always like breast meat best because it's nicer to eat. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's our uh, clip. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're enjoying these daily snap vlogs. They're very easy to make. You just I call them snap vlogs because it's just little snaps of my life. It's really awesome to have you back here with me. I really love it. I, I used to cook for myself for a long time and now I'm cooking for you and I really love it. And you're so appreciative of food. I really, but, you know. I love food. We all do, honey. Mm. Be good. You can't be good. Be careful. See you later. Mm. Oh, I'm liking that wine. It comes from the Arwitry Valley. Do you know where that is? That's where I do a lot of my hunting. Sometimes I go hunting.